another federal agency that we count on is having trouble keeping track of who is dead and who is alive in America. The Social Security Administration maintains something called the Death Master File, but a 60 Minutes investigation has found this national list of the departed is sometimes fatally flawed. How many of you have been declared dead by the federal government? <laughs> All of you. You're looking pretty well to me. This would be a seance, except these are living, breathing Americans that we conjured up from around the country, all declared dead by the Social Security Administration. Don Pilger passed away when he tried to report the death of his wife. This is a form from the Social Security Administration. The idea was you were going to call this number and, and essentially report that your wife had exactly. passed. Exactly, and that's what I did on the following Monday. Eight days later, I went to access my bank account and it was, they kept saying invalid PIN. So I went to the bank, I give the lady the problem I was having. She typed my numbers into the uh, computer and uh, she grabbed my hand and she says, Mr. Mr. Pilger, I don't believe this. They reported you deceased and not your wife. Judy Rivers told us she had $80,000 in her accounts, but when she tried to use a bank card at a store, they assumed she was an identity thief. You couldn't get access to your bank accounts. You couldn't get a credit card. How did you live? Well, for a time, I lived in my car. And I couldn't get an apartment. I had my debit cards, which were, of course, no good. I used one uh, without knowing the consequences and was actually um, taken to jail and questioned because they thought I was a identity thief. But we found a much bigger problem is in the millions of Americans who actually do die and are not included in the death master file, which leads the government to pay out billions in benefits to the dead. Our full report this Sunday on 60 Minutes.